I want to welcome you to my page where you will learn how to build your network marketing team without bugging friends and family. Now, I know you're probably thinking right now that this is completely unreal, but let me tell you, like I was in your shoe just a while ago and it's completely amazing. Now I'm going to share with you my success and my replication system that's helped me to no longer bug my friends and family anymore. Okay, um, so stay tuned. Kathy on Sontag here, and I teach network marketers how to use powerful online strategies to build a business you love. Now, let's go ahead and dive on in. If I do look over here, it's because I am just checking out my notes as I speak with you today, okay? All right, um, let's see. So, first off, um, I am super excited to be here with you today. I know you're going to get a lot of great value out of this because um, I normally don't talk about majority of you of what I'll be mentioning today, okay? So do um, keep an ear out, pay close attention, take it all in, get a pen and paper if need be because what you're going to learn is some powerful strategies, guys, okay? All right. So um, just to let you know as well, if you do hear babies crying in the back, I do have twins, Kyla and Kyson. They're about three months old and they tend to wake up every now and then for a bottle. My husband is with them, but I want to go ahead and apologize right now for the interruption if you do hear babies crying in the back. All right. All right. So to grow your business, what you need to do is um, first you need to know your target audience, right? So we all have a target audience and um, whether you're in the health field or, or let's say you're a yoga instructor, or for instance, let's say you are a, a Zumba instructor. Okay. That's a better example. So with a Zumba instructor, they have a certain niche. So what they would do is they will go in groups that has Zumba, um, people who love to teach Zumba or who love to do Zumba themselves. Right? So that's your target audience. You're a Zumba instructor and you need clients. So you go to a page that either has Zumba instructors or have um, Zumba um, clients. And you will interact with them. You'll give them tips either on running their Zumba business or you'll give them tips as for um, workout moves and so forth, you know, health and wellness atmosphere. So you will go to those specific groups on social media and you will join those groups. Now, before you join any groups and start talking about anything in particular, make sure you read the rules and regulations because it is super, super important not to get kicked out of any group, okay? And that um, tends to sometimes damage our reputation. So let's do read those rules and regulations. However, the correct way to actually go into a group is to introduce yourself first as whoever you are within that group so that they know that awesome, here's another instructor, which that's your niche, right? And then you would connect with people one-on-one, -on -one, answer any questions they may have, um, and then you would friend them, okay? So the next one, after knowing your audience and growing your audience, which is going to, into those groups, going on forums, um, going to meetup.com, I guess, and do um, a virtual, online since we're in the pandemic right now just to meet people you would actually go and find your audience you would friend them on social media and then you would tag them under your prospect and um instead of friends or family you create a new list that's called prospecting and you'll go ahead and mark them on that you would love like and comments on every single post that they have well not every single post do be wary but each day, try and comment on something they did either that day or the previous days and so forth, okay? Now, the next one is knowing your target audience. We went over that a while ago. Your target audience is someone that you are looking for. It's your avatar. It's basically you. You're looking for someone that you can resonate with. And that is basically someone that's like you, right? So that's the second part. The other, um, number three is build your engagements. So what you want to do on social media, on your social media page is you want to be posting um, daily to be consistent. You want to show up and let them know that you are there for them, that they see you as an authority figure, as someone who is very um, experienced and knowledgeable in that field, right? So you're going to be giving them tips. You're going to give them tricks. You're going to give them, 
you know, motivation and encouragement, and you'll be doing that on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, um, and also, anyone who goes ahead and comments on something and likes something, you'll be reaching out to them, either thanking them and seeing how they're doing. Be a human first, because this is about um, network marketing, and network marketing is always about being a human. Do not rush the process on trying to sell your product, service, or opportunity with anyone. You need to genuinely build that relationship. Now, this is outside of your friends and family. Let's leave them out of the equation for a period of time, okay? Do not do this with your friends and family. Only those people that you meet within your group, you're gonna go ahead and build a relationship with them. Try and comment on their posts, like their posts, love their posts, you know, do engagements with them, build an authentic relationship, okay? So that's the engagement part. The fourth part is about um, offering value. So after a while of, you know, speaking to them and building a relationship with them, you, um, I mentioned this before, you want to let them know that you are the authority. So when you post things on social media, you're going to actually post things that resonates with them. Since they're your avatar, which means they're exactly like you, you should know what things you are looking for. And then you give them simple tricks and tips to overcome those hurdles they're currently facing as a client um, or whether they're dealing with the business side or the product side, which is health and wellness side, okay? So that's you giving them a value within your post. Now it can be a curiosity post. It can be a live video. It can be, um, you know, sh doing a shout out to someone who is super active on your page, who's always commenting, loving, and liking your stuff, you know? Um, that's the fourth one. And it's super important to always build a relationship with your, with anyone who comments on your page and like your page. Now, I wanted to go ahead and let you know that you don't have to post every single day. What you do is you take, let's say the weekends and you schedule out your posts for the entire month or the entire week. So that during the week, all you have to do is take 30 minutes out of your time and start adding um, people that you resonate with your avatar and start loving and liking on their posts because now it's automatically posted at a certain time every single day. So you can take that part of it out and now all you have to do is simply engage with your avatar, with people like you, okay? Now, the fifth one is to gather your perfect prospect. Now, we talked about this before, how, um, how your perfect prospect is your avatar. That is you, okay? And I mentioned how you'll get them is by going to those groups, those forums, you know, reaching out to people on other, app, other um, social media. Just being a human and getting to know them genuinely. If they raise their hand saying, I'm interested in your product or I'm interested in your business opportunity, then you go ahead and you put them in a group to get more information um, and get them started either with a product or the business, okay? Now, finally, it is promoting to your audience, okay? So this is where you are going to, since they are your avatar, you already know what they're all about. So when you promote to them, you're gonna let them know, okay, you know, I, I, I am here to assist you with whatever you're going through. This is why follow-up is so important. They always say follow-up, follow-up, follow-up because you don't want your people to fall through the cracks and then they go somewhere else like on Google and they get the product from Google because um, they were you weren't engaging with them. They no longer know who you are and so forth. So that person falls through the crack. We don't want them. So promote to your audience. You know, Reach out to them on either continuing to like, comment, on their posts, you know, send them a couple text messages. Um, I would say email because email is super, super important as well. And although messaging is amazing, you own your emails. But yes, if you don't have their email, message them, see how they're doing, say, hey, you know, 
How are you doing today? Have them in that group, engage with them in your group, let them feel like they're a part of that family, okay? And that's how you promote to your audience by having them feel that you are there for them. So when they're ready to make that big step into purchasing that amazing product you have or joining your business, they would know that, okay, you know, like this person is so amazing. I've been with her, following her for a while, watching her, and I really wanna join her team because I know that she has this amazing duplication system that um, I can leverage about everything on automation so I don't have to bug my friends and family anymore. Now, if you wanna learn more in depth about how to do that, there's a link down here within um, this video or at the bottom of my blog. Go ahead and click on that and you'll be able to get the full aspect on how to go ahead and um, recruit and leverage social media um, automatically and automation, which is what we all want, right? You, you want to do this business where you don't have to be on the phone 24 seven. All you want to do at this point is to have people come into you. And that link is gonna make it so simple so that you don't have to be um, doing all those traditional things we used to do before. And this is an effective way to use social media to have prospects reaching out to you, asking to join your team, okay? So if you got value from this video, Go ahead and shoot me a message, an email, let me know on social media. If you believe that someone can actually benefit from hearing what we just talked about on this video, then go ahead and share this video with them as well because um, when we share something with people, that's actually um, letting them know that we love them as well and we want them to be successful in their business too, okay? So uh, let me know if you got value from this, again, by shooting me a message on social media or emailing me a messenger me um i am here for you okay so again they this is the method i use in order to become successful if you want more in depth on exactly what it is there is a link as i mentioned before that you can actually get all that information i know that many of us struggle um, by doing it the traditional way or I know as myself I'm an introvert so it was super super hard for me to actually go out there and speak to people about joining my business or buy my products and I was like oh my gosh I can't do that like that's not me to be a pushy salesperson and with that link it helps you to not be a pushy salesperson it helps you to put yourself out there so that people will reach out to you and that's exactly what I want for you okay so go ahead and um, let me know if this was of value to you so I can actually post more videos quite like this that can help you in your business as well, okay? So thank you so much for hopping on today and I'll talk to you soon. Take care, bye.